tonight here at Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Seattle Mariners and the Toronto Blue Jays. Gerald Payton looks to push his all-time hit streak record to even greater heights. Next. Stepping in, Gerald Hayden already holding the all-time hit streak record. He continues to carve out his place in the game's pantheon right here. You know, Matty, whatever happens in this guy's career, regardless whether he becomes a superstar for 15 years or fizzles away, this mark will always stand. It will always be something that other players chase. Children will learn about it in textbooks. This guy has certainly etched his place in this game's history. Throw is in time for the first down of the second. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Stepping in, Miles Straw. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Next up is Gerald Hayden, and he's the reigning American League Player of the Month. Hey, drive it deep, big dog. Here we go. From the stretch, here's the pitch. In a feeble swing that time, it's 0-1. Well, it'd be hard to argue that he's not the best hitter in the game right now. Aside from the hitting streak, he lays claim to the league's best batting oh, average as well. And that's the beauty of it, Matty. He's doing it with damage. Yeah, it's go. not the one for four with the ground ball with eyes or the bleeder with no one on that doesn't help the team. This is a guy that's done serious damage from day one of this hit streak, and it's continued. Hey, drive that pitch, huh? Here you go. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about. Ouch, that one hit him. You always want to see the curve break a lot, but this one breaks a little bit too much, comes all the way across the plate, and nicks the batter. Digging in next, Brian Navarretto. Now batting. The catcher, Brian Navarretto. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Four and he four. takes ball four. Four, four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Jonathan India digging now in now. He started out the evening 0 for 2 Jonathan so far. India. Now the payoff pitch home. He swung on and missed. He got him. I'm really impressed by that strikeout. I'll tell you what. He should have gotten a call on the pitch before, and it looked like he got squeezed a little bit. In a bases loaded situation, that can drive a guy nuts, drive you crazy. But I love this. Five, five, five. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. So they load the bases on just one hit, but three men are left stranded. To the bottom of inning number four we go, and we are tied 2-2. Hit by a pitch last time, perhaps looking for a little payback. He's set. Here it comes. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a solo shot here to left center field. Home run number 55 on the campaign. And with it, the Mariners move out in front 3 to 2. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Hits two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. 
I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to him. Digging in will be Gerald Hayden as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of... The play's been made, and with it comes the end of the end. Stepping in for the Jays, Jairo Munoz. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Throw on to first, and now the Jays are down to their final out. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. The M's wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Chris Flexen earned his ninth win of the year. Johnny Joss works two full innings.